Are you feeling better already? Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He gave me a scripture that's going to help everybody yeah. here tonight. Say it, backslid, lost, amen. On your way, whatever you need is tonight, the Lord's going to help us. Give you Bible. Uh, turn with us to Luke chapter number 24. Amen. Luke chapter 24. And I appreciate you, good pastor, tonight. Amen. 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 Brother Dale, it ain't no, uh, it, it ain't nothing. Everybody knows me and Brother Dale's best friends. But I wouldn't get up tonight and say, Amen, just because we're friends. Amen. He's an anointed preacher. He ain't an anointed preacher. But he's right. an anointed man of God. Amen. And I tell you what, preachers are a dime a dozen. Uh, yeah. I'm an anointed man of God, Brother John. You know as well as I do. When God's got his hand on a man, it's a blessing. It sure yeah. is. It's a, some preachers you've got to endure them, and then some you just really eat and feast from them. Yeah. And I appreciate, I appreciate you, Pastor, tonight and their family. We thank the Lord for everybody here in the house of the Lord. You pray tonight. We won't be just a few minutes. Amen. Uh, chapter 24 and verse number 44. Chapter 24 and verse 44. The Bible said, And he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you while I was with you that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding that they may understand the scriptures and said unto them, Thus it is written and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead and uh, rise from the dead the third day. And the repentance and remission of sins should be preached in His name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. I want to preach on verse 49. And behold, I send you, send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. That's all that we'll read tonight. Amen. And I want to look at that verse 49. And uh, the Bible said, Amen, the Lord is no doubt is talking to His disciples. Amen. Jesus has done, uh, I've been crucified. Uh, Peter and the rest of them, the Bible said that that night, uh, while He prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane, the Bible said that that night that the shepherd uh, was smitten and the sheep was scattered. Uh, every single one of them disciples I told Jesus, it was even Peter uh, that rebuked Jesus one time. Amen. And Jesus, uh, because Jesus said that he would be betrayed in the hands of sinful men and that he must be killed. And Peter didn't want to hear that. Uh, but Jesus told him, he said, get thee hits behind me, Satan. Jesus said, boys, uh, 
sad. And they go through life struggling. You say, well, Brother Jason, I come last night to pray and it didn't get no better. Well, you need to hit the altar and just as soon as I get ready and pray again tonight.
He said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, get out of thee. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Take up your bed and walk. Arise up and walk. And the Bible said immediately that his ankle bones received strength. That power. Amen. You can see it. But that power had come down upon that lame man. And his ankle bones. Amen. Received strength. And you know what he done? He went down to the church. Jumping and leaping.
and I couldn't get nothing. All his lungs was tired. Ain't a scripture in that book, but I read it even like said, Terry. Yeah. Right. And this, his cell phone ain't just making big words on us. Right. We ain't got time for nothing now. Right. And if you want it, you want to know where your maps are, you want to know where this is at. Right. You don't have to go to the grocery store, you don't have to do nothing. Right. Yeah. We don't have to turn for nothing no more. Yeah, come on. But look up here at me. You have to turn for this. Right. Yeah. Hey, you man. Turn this. You can't do this. Right. Hey, man. You can't call Dr. Spock and tell him to send it down to you. That's right. No, you'll have to wait on this. Hey, man. If it ever comes, it's sure worth the wait. If it ever comes, it's sure is worth the wait. I guess I prayed half a dozen times. Hey, man, I said, Lord, I don't know what else to tell you. I need deliverance tonight. What I was wanting was a fire. I was wanting that Holy Ghost to come upon me. I can't live without this. I can't function without this. I've got to have this. I mean, I come to services and watch you shout and just get in there with you. But if it's about number three and I ain't in there with you, I'm going crazy. Somebody said, well, I ain't like it. It's time for you to become like that. I said everything I know to say. The Lord said, Jason, get back on your knees and pray. I got back, I got back on my knees again and I started praying. I'm about done. Pray. Yeah, come on, I pray. And I started praying. And the Lord said, don't, don't say a word. Don't say a word. He man, I said, well, Lord, okay, I won't say a word. So I just sit there. I just sit there. And then the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and said, raise your hands. Just raise your hands. If you only knew the power, that's just to you raising your hands. Jeremiah said, Lord, we raise our hearts with our hands. Yeah. And the night I prayed and swore, I preacher prayed. You don't talk about those preachers. Preacher prayed. I preacher prayed. But I was sweating just like I am now. But no fire. I was like the children of Baal. No fire. But when I got done doing everything I know to do, the Lord said, just hold your hands up. I just held both of my hands up. And I was telling you, the servants of heaven started blowing down on me. Hallelujah to God. I got up off my feet. I was a shout. I was a praise of the Lord. And I said, that's it right there, Lord. That's what I'm going to wait on. That's what I needed. I wanted to go back to the church. I was going to quit. It's preaching again. Yeah. Look at what all these saints of God. And then here you are. What happened to you? 
Preacher didn't shake my hand. Oh, preacher. Come on. He didn't ask me to say. He didn't love on my little gun. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on, preacher. Yeah. Where's that patch he had?
Could you do that right now? Could you do that right now? The Lord loves you. This is no second. Is there anybody lost? That's the of God. Preacher, that's me. That's me. Now see, the devil want you to fix it all and then get saved. It's never been designed to do that. It'll just get worse and worse and worse. You don't understand about my friends and what my buddies will find. Bring your buddies back. We'll win them too. Amen. God can save them. Yes. That power yes. ain't never lost a man. Amen. All right, now look up here. I guess tonight you play for me, brother. I guess tonight every sinner's satisfied. I want you to know when you leave tonight, that's what you're telling the whole, all your people that know you're lost. You're telling you like the ways of sin. If you're here tonight, you're saying, these things in your life that you're bad. You've got to camouflage behind the service every day. Every service. Nobody knows it, but you're God. There's a God in heaven today told me that the power will deliver you. I, I don't stand, I, I'm not a gambling man, but I say it like this to let you know I would stake my soul on it. Amen. He'll deliver you. Yes. Amen. I want to ask you tonight, church member. Do you need to come? Do you need to get up right now? Put your best baby talking about. I've got stuff I can kick. I've got to have God. I've got to have God. I've got to have God. I can't do it. I talked to this and asked them what to do. I talked to that one and asked them what to do. It ain't nothing getting no better. It ain't getting no better. The power. The power. The power. Anybody else tonight want to come? Are you sure? Preacher, what will they think of me? Well, you asked me then, what do you think about this? Tell me that about The stud cut. What do you think about them? Are we thinking bad thoughts about them? No. We're just thinking there's somebody who wants to move with God. Don't let the devil beat you out of this tonight, church. This whole revival may hinge on this message tonight. This whole meeting tonight, whether you'll swallow your pride, say, put your man, that's me. I'm, I got myself in the mess tonight. I need help. I'm getting ready to give to you, Pastor. I've done the best I could. I tried to do everything that I put in it. I prayed and prayed and prayed today. I've done everything that you put in it, Johnny. Except you. 